Uh, so I'm having a chat with Tony Hadley. How are you? I'm all right, Jim. Not bad at all. Not bad okay. at all. It's great to hear. So uh, let's have a little chat about a, a brand new single of yours called Obvious. What can you tell us about the single? Um, it's fun, happy summer. Uh, if you watch the video, you're gar- guaranteed you want to go, oh, I want to go on holiday. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, um, the whole single, obviously, it's, it's about that kind of undying love. Uh, but it's, it's also a sort of reflection of, of what we, we get when we're playing lots of festivals and live shows. You see the audience there all hugging each other together, jumping up and down, singing along. And so we, we kind of wanted to write a single that reflected that love that you have for your, for your wife, girlfriend, whatever, but also the vibe that you get from the people um, when you're doing concerts. So it's, it's about being together and, um, and it's meant to be fun and happy and it's, 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 a, it's a pop single. Yeah. Good. And are we gearing up to uh, an album release, or is this just the one-off single for now? No, no. Well, it's, it's kind of weird, because we started off just saying, well, we're just going to write singles, okay? So mm. we've got probably five, six, well, well, what we think are great songs, great singles that would be great for radio. And this is, probably, this is without doubt, probably the poppiest of, it, of them. Um, unlike the last album that took 10 years to make, uh, so mm. we, we, we've actually so started writing singles, then ended up writing a whole album's worth of material. So it's all pretty much ready to go. Uh, there's a couple of lyrics to finish. Uh, and aiming, when we can all get together in the studio properly, aiming to get the album out late spring, early summer next year, which, mm. um, which is when the 40th anniversary um, kind of celebrations start. Yeah, I mean, you've been around for, for that many years now. How, how have you evolved as a, an artist since the very beginning through until, uh, until now? I've been around, been around a long time. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't believe it. I mean, I hit 60 back in June 2nd, and I'm mm. like, what? How do I get to 60? How does it make any sense? I still feel like a, a child. Um, yeah, I, it's, I mean, obviously, from a musical point of view, the music business has changed beyond recognition. Um, I think from a personal point of view, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that I can still sing the songs in the same key, uh, probably sing higher now than, than I could. I mean, if you listen mm. to Obvious, it's pretty high. Um, and um, so, so my vocal range, if anything, has increased. Um, but also, I, I think just to, as a person, I think you, you do gain in confidence as you get older you kind of the pennies slowly slowly drop and fall into place and you think, yeah, I know how that works now. Why was I so nervous about that before? Um, there, there's a lot of self-doubt, I think, with all artists. And, um, and I've, I've been through it so many times where you, you, you lose your confidence and everything. Uh, but I, I'm in a place now where I feel, I feel good, yeah, I feel really good. Yeah, and uh, we, we are in this weird lockdown quarantine situation at the moment. How, how have you been spending your time? Well, we've been really lucky, actually. Well, we moved to the countryside in Buckinghamshire just a few years ago. So, so in terms of kind of freedom of movement, you know, we can walk out onto fields and through beautiful country walks. Um, they're seconds away. So we're really lucky from that point of view. Um, obviously, it's spending time with my two youngest has been brilliant, but, but, you know, but then not seeing my big kids who are stuck in London, my mum, brother, sister and everything has been difficult. Um, but generally speaking, we've, we've, we've coped really well. I think, I think it's tough for the kids because obviously homeschooling, well, that's another story. Um, but, but also they miss their friends. They miss their friends mm. and, and, and children want to hug each other. They want to dance around and climb on climbing frames and, and, and be together. And that's been very difficult for them. But uh, overall, compared to some of the people on the front line, We've, we've done very well. Good, and uh, it won't be long until you, uh, until you kick off this new tour idea <clears throat> thing that's, uh, that's been announced where uh, we're doing a, a drive-in tour. So what, what do you know about what's going to be happening? Well, I, I, well it's completely new. Um, it's only been done, I think, in, uh, one, in Scandinavia, in Denmark, I believe. Um, it's 300 cars, and they either drive in onto the, onto the, the, the grass uh, or, or tarmac. Some of them are airfields. And um, 
300 cars, all socially distanced, because that's what we have to do. Health and safety is paramount in this, in this one. So everything is, is, all the cars are socially distanced, all the people are, uh, but you can get out of your car, you can have a boogie, you can sing along. It's going to be a completely different vibe, but the PA, the lights, the staging is going to be a huge festival stage um, with all the gubbins. There will be toilets there, and there will be um, you, you can buy food and drink as well. So it's only 300 cars. So it's not a big, it's not massive, uh, mm. and it's different. I think some people are going to be really nervous about going to something like that, um, and I understand that completely. But then there's another lot of people that are, are going to be going, yes, God, we're nearly getting back to normal. This is not quite normal, but we're, 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 we're making a step towards it. And from my point of view, my band's point of view, we, we, we didn't hesitate. We said, yeah, absolutely. We just want to, just want to go and gig, you know, that's yeah. what we do. Yeah, no, absolutely. And uh, speaking of you loving to gig, you've already got dates, but festival dates anyway for next year booked in. I bet you can't wait to yeah. play them. Well, in fact, I mean, this year was going to be busy anyway because we were leading up mm. to the 40th anniversary. We saw that all kind of fall by the wayside. So July 23rd, Lincolnshire Showground, we start the live at the drive-in. Uh, Ten, sh- I think, no, 12 shows, actually, uh, until uh, sort of beginning of August. And then, um, then next year, literally everything that we were doing this year was shifted to next year and next year's shows as well. So I'm not going to be at home very much next year. So it's a bit <laughs> ironic, really. I've been at home longer for, for more than, than I've been in years and years and years, probably since I was a kid. And uh, next year, I'm not going to be at home much at all. So mm. <laughs> catching up with everything. Yeah, <clears> making the most <throat> of it now. Sorry? Making the most of it now. Yeah, to be honest, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's great getting back, um, talking to, to people like yourself, talking about the new record and the touring and everything else. But before you know it, July will be here and I'll be back on the road and that's it. That's the end of it. And I'm never going to get this time back again. And I think that's the same. I think for a lot of people, actually, that we're never going to have this time again. And in some ways, it's, it's, obviously, it's been tragic and awful for, for so many people. Um, you know, we've lost family uh, and stuff through this. And, uh, and we've got friends who have been on the front line and family as well that have been on the front line. So it has been a terrible time but it's also been a a, i don't know kind of precious time really when you think about the amount of time you spent with your kids and your loved ones yeah definitely and uh, speaking of continuing on the on the touring front earlier this year you uh, embarked on a a japan and australia tour which i can imagine was great is there anywhere that you you do want to take this new record to at some point maybe somewhere that you haven't been before well i've never been to india i've never been Mm -hmm. to china uh, I've been to some of South America, but I've not, not explored, uh, you know, a lot of it. Um, and um, we are looking at, in October, uh, going back to Singapore to the show that was cancelled. And I think we're looking at Kuala Lumpur, Hong Kong, uh, Manila, and doing a Southeast Asian tour. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, I love Southeast Asia. Uh, great, great fun. So, yeah, I mean, there's lots, of, there's lots of countries I want to, you know, Africa. I really, you know, want to, my wife's done a couple of safaris. I'd love to, hey, can't we do a gig? And then we go on a safari sort of thing. Um, yeah, I mean, it just, just the, Russia, I mean, Russia's a place. I've never played in Turkey either. So I'd love mm. to, to, there's lots of places out there. And um, if, if, if there's a will, there's a way, and we can, we can be there. But uh, you've just got to get that phone call. Yeah, definitely. Well, Tony, it's been great having a chat with you. Yeah, thanks, Jim. Cheers, mate. And, um, yeah, but, but might see you on the road at some point. Yeah, yeah. absolutely.